To write the name for CO2S3, we first need to recognize that this cobalt here, this is a transition metal, and then S, sulfur, that's a nonmetal. So we're going to use these rules to write the name for CO2S3. First, we write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. CO, that's just cobalt. Next, we're going to write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. Lowercase s, and then we take the ending, the UR here, and we replace that with IDE. So at this point, we have the name cobalt sulfide for CO2S3. But cobalt, we said cobalt's a transition metal. Since it's a transition metal, we need to write the charge between the names. So we know sulfur on the periodic table, group 16, sometimes called 6A, has a charge of 2 minus. And we have three of them. 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. Cobalt, in order to have a 6 plus, 2 times 3 plus, that would give us 6 plus. So we're going to put a 3 between these names, but we're going to use Roman numerals. 1, 2, 3, and then put it in parentheses. So the name for CO2S3 is cobalt 3 sulfide in the Roman numeral 3. It's because of this 3 plus here. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you'd know that the cobalt is going to be 3 plus because of the Roman numeral here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.